Viv is here. She's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I've heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug! Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's gotta go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt. How the? You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Cannot quell a god. <clears throat> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Rainy, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsaw? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... Th what the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him, and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, man.
Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging. Until he accepts what's buried. Uh, I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Thanos. <laughs> we got a runner! After his bloodline! I don't know this part! Tracks! Please be something soft, Dim! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, hey, Gamora? I'm going to enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Time to kick him while he's down! Still consider therapy! Gamora! What a What's with that helmet? <laughs> not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? Think I'd remember there being two of him. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Quill, watch it! Fortune favors failure. Is that supposed to mean something to us? Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand? You fight a phantom. Fear given form, it is a futile foray. He said no! Yeah, I got that one, thanks! We're gonna be outnumbered! It's like he can't be killed! As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't! I can't! Peter? Whoa! Hey, what's happening? That's it! That's why he couldn't see! Oh. <sighs> hey! We ain't dead! Mantis, I think we did... something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. <laughs> oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. If you're lost, you can say you're lost. Drax! How the... It doesn't matter. Get him! There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you, little you one. You play pawns on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, little one. Huh? You can see your me? Your friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who- There! Look! 
Hey, how did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you alright? Drax, come here. It is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. What the flark are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! out there, Quill. She fought on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh, yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Let's do this! Time to... I cannot breach the barrier while plagued by these pustules. Vast things keep pouring out of them nests. Blast them, would you, Quill? This won't hurt much! Peter! Maybe hurry up with those nests? Such a pretty promise now! Oh, insolence! Raise the remnants that I might prize our passage! We're working on it, man! Well, you get all those nuts! Pretty sure that's a no! How's that one the can work? Just keep him the scut away from me! To the bone! Root, snag him! We're working on it, man! Stop! Ah, look at these things! I'd rather make them go boom! Pertinent intrusion. Don't pop a blood vessel. That's two. Feel the enemies must be connected to what blocked our path. Something's definitely trying to keep us from tracks. I have purchase. Prepare to be pulled within. Hold on to your tails. <laughs> Don't you dare. I ain't cleaning wood chips out of my fur. Everyone all right? Define all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Is that... Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. You two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? 
We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. I am Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. Damn it! Here we go again. All right, seek and destroy, just like last time. Make haste. The maw means to snap shut. I cannot contain it. Fuck it! Blast them! <laughs> We're working on it, man! Working on it! Yo! <laughs> Endless entropy. Cease this charade! Cover your eye holes! What good? I am good. Clark and nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping! Hobo wizard. Alright, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a dark place right now. What? There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Look, I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat. Was the most fearless mate I have ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing.
I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. And honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Pure Quill. Your child is in danger, if her pain is half my own. The darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. Whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Time to go. Hey, Goldie Braun! Wanna get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey. We're in this together, and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest. Imagine... ambivalent omnipotence, drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark... Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. Shh. This is the scary part? 
As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone. Chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick. As I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... Oh, What's going... Flark. Oh, Flark. They've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. Now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Think. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. 
I'm starting to actually get you. You wanna pop a squat, golden boy? You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but it works for him. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? 
Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Would a wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber? He's asking for room service now? Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle, then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul, and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it! I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive, and, and, uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch. Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. <sighs> My shoulders are sore. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Hurry up, Quill. I ain't got all day. Done in record time! Ah, Got a crick in my back because of that. Did you reach Cosmo? That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us! I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of the divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. Thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. 
You are clear to land on the spaceport. All them bars and bedding parlors. And noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great! Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look